The Rebellious Teenager, Young Adult Child. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brianne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I do share with you my perspective on different topics as is with this one. I hope you like, share, subscribe. All five channel names pinned at the top of the comments section or description box below. The Rebellious Teenager, Rebellious Young Adult Child. You know, I can tell you that a lot of parents I have talked to are going through difficult times with rebellion, whether it's a teenager or a young adult or even some older adult rebellious children. And it can be a very challenging and difficult time. Sometimes it requires the competent, right professional intervention. Other times, uh, simply... Uh, um, you know, spending more time with uh, the rebellious teenager um, may work. Uh, a lot of different uh, scenarios play out with rebellion and why rebellion happens. I think part of the teenage process is that uh, someone emerging out of being a child into adulthood, and it can be a challenging and difficult time, not just for the, the teenager or young adult, but also for the person them, the, themselves. Every teenager is different. Some have no rebellion. Others have a lot of rebellion. Um, you know, I loved my kids' teenage years, and I was a great teenager and a great young adult. Um, but I have known people that had adult children well into their 30s that were so rebellious that didn't have their life together and they didn't want to listen and to any kind of wisdom or common sense. And there's only so much a parent can do. Um, I, I think uh, uh, when a rebellious child is younger, like I said, often the right competent professional help can be of uh, a great value. Um, and I think as one becomes an, a complete adult and then grows older, often that is more challenging to deal with um, rebellion because there's often little that a, a parent can say or do at that point uh, when they have an adult child that just doesn't want to make right decisions. Either way, rebellion can, it's a very common thing. Um, it's uh, not something that any parent wants to see or any parent likes. Um, and uh, it can be very challenging time. I think a parent has to take care of their own emotional needs too so that they can get through that because this can be a very, very exhausting, difficult, and challenging time. And it can be a challenging time in a marriage when someone has an adult child or a child of any age who is going through a rebellious time and a very challenging, difficult time. We see it all the time on these talk shows and, and it's uh, saddening to see disrespect, uh, whether no matter who it's coming from. Um, disrespect is a lack of honor. And whether it's from, uh, you know, a rebellious teenager or from a parent or from anybody, you know, we need to be respectful of each other and mindful of each other. So not all teenage years and not all young adults and not all adults are rebellious. It's just that, you know, we see a lot of it now. And I think a lot of it has to do with social media and, and everything on the internet. There's a lot of great things on the internet, but there's also a lot of negativity that can fill one's mind, soul, spirit um, up. And, uh, and so, you know, I think who people surround themselves with can have a tremendous impact upon their behavior. And, um, you know, as a faith-based person, I've always believed in having faith, my positive faith around me, and that has helped me and get through a lot of different situations in life. And I think often when we're faith-based, um, often that can be a great support for our lives, okay? So I would just thought I would come on here and talk about rebellion. Rebellion um, at any level really is often someone who just simply doesn't want to do what they're told or in some situations be responsible. Um, not all rebellion, I guess, is, is um, always a, not a good thing. Um, if it's something in, in um, a right thing. But that's not the kind of rebellion we're talking about. We're talking about rebellious in a, in a negative way. And so um, it is a difficult time, especially for a parent. And um, sometimes a, a parent feels like a bystander just watching a, um, this rebellious 
show that's not a good show and they don't like it and it's very upsetting and it can disrupt the family dynamics and that's why sometimes the competent, competent, right, professionally trained people are necessary. I'm not a professional in that area. I'm not an expert. I'm just giving you an opinion as a mom um, of, of this subject. Okay, from my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.